Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization with me, Grey Hunter, where we were going to build a port city, because I've decided yes, we are going to build that, and hopefully we'll be able to get this population pop when I get some horses over there, unless I already purchased them, I cannot remember. No, I did not. So, we'll send Mr. Galleon home, well, well not really home, I suppose, his home is here, isn't it? We'll send him back to Europe, and we'll pick up a few more fellas. It might be worth... Are you a weaver? No, you're a gunsmith. It might be worth... Hurrying a few... Uh... Yeah, hurrying a free colonist. to send him off and become a... Um... Actually, no, the farmer would be better, because it's only 77 gold. So we'll get a farmer, and we may get the indentured servant as well, and we'll use this hardy pioneer to build a road down to the fur city uh, place that we've chosen, and then I'll get him to build a lodge on one of these surrounding tiles and a farm here. So I expect Farmer will be able to do stuff. Excellent. I like this plan. End turn! So it's 1608. We're doing quite well, I think. Let us found a settlement. Uh, no, we're not going to call it Plymouth. We will call it Port... Port... Sub... No. Kingsport. There we go. Better. And we will build the dock, because we want to sort of get a few people from this place. You can be a lumberjack, and that's okay. And you can do that, and you can do this. We'll need the food. Because right now they're just breaking even, and eventually I'll want to put other things here. So, if we have a dock, then it will enable us to build those things faster. Now you, you Mr. Weaver. I think I need you. No, no I don't, do I? Fur traders are the ones who do coats, right? Fur trader's house converts fur into coats, three fur, no, three coats per citizen required to build a fur trading post. Don't think I actually have, no, I do have a master fur trader. Excellent. You, sir, you get to leave. You'll become a colonist. And two turns, we'll have another, we'll have another free colonist ready. Ah, Ah, that could be good, yes. So we're using exactly old wood. Yes. Good, I like it. Done. Uh, you... Actually... Hmm... Nine Liberty Vells is doing okay, but I don't want to annoy the king too much, because if we do that... He'll send other fellows over to us faster. So let's see, is there another place we could church? There is Georgetown. Congratulations, Master Preacher. Go sit over there. You can help that. And Preacher, you are going to Georgetown. And our fur trader man. Yeah, you can head down there now. Pioneer. You... Hmm. Do I really need you to do anything right this second? Not particularly. Yeah, no, not really. Got plenty of lumber. This settlement's working perfectly fine as is, so I'm going to send you instead over this way. Unless they're working perfectly fine as is. Yeah, they sort of are, really, I guess. Hmm. You know what? You're going to go down this way as well and start building the lodge. Alright, Mr. Privateer, you can camp out here and hopefully we'll find another Spanish ship at some point. We can remove that sign so we don't need it. Delete. Delete. And we won't need that one soon either. But this is a nice little colony that we've got set up. Well, set of colonies, I suppose. 
And really, our main uh, goal now is going to be creating a lot of population and getting a lot of Founding Fathers, so that we can then annoy the King even more when it comes to time to declare proper independence. Alrighty. Oh, you were there already. Oh, I see. I was building a road. Right. Well, that makes sense. Okay, tobacco has been lost. Hello. Oh, right. I want to change your trade as well, didn't I? No, not yours. There's other wagon train. Yours. Yes. This tools thing, I have rethought it. I think I'd rather handle that manually. So you can do that. I'll still send him over there and then I'll re-automate him in a moment. You... Can you build a farm while he's building a... Hello. Yes, you can. I think. Build a farm. I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute. If Worst comes to worst, he's actually lost just one turn doing that. So, could be worse. Are you actually constructing Liberty Bells? You are constructing Liberty Bells. This will not do. Mainly because, again, we don't want to annoy the king too much. We're doing a good job of that already. Let's have a look at our founding father's list. The next person that we really want is probably going to be... Alexander Hamilton. So we need some more political points. We've got enough trade ones. We need another 800 political points because he gives plus three hammers per town hall and that is going to be beautiful because we are constructing points as opposed to earning them through Founding Fathers, um, through Liberty Bells, etc. So here I want to get a college. Oh, where is it? College, 12 turns, excellent. You were not helping out with the farm thingy. Is there a road there? There's not a road there. Yeah, just, just help out with the farm, I guess. Three silver has been lost in... No, three ore. Fair enough. You can go there, like so. Drop off... 150 tools. Take the rest to New London. You're all good there, you're all good there. Just be watchful. You've discovered valuable artifacts, and we have a population growth. You, I want to go... Mm, well, we don't really need to make him an expert farmer, do we? No, you, I want to study. You can study. And you can too, for that matter. And you can help out in here. Alright, now we're at minus one wood. But that's alright, we can, we can keep that going. So 15 turns, 23 turns for uh, graduation from these guys. But on graduation, we can turn some of them into veteran soldiers. And the reason I put the veteran soldier in here is because, unlike other professions where they can be working in one of these tiles, etc., if you want to train and educate a veteran soldier, he must be working in a building, so... Unfortunately, that's the way it has to be. I want to get an Elder Statesman as well. I'm going to try and um, seed Elder Statesmen throughout the rest of our territories, but not have them actually... Um, not have them actively creating Liberty Bells for now. Again, avoiding the king's annoyance. Two turns for your road, six turns for the farm, so that's good. You can go there. Now, Galleon has arrived. Alright, ore miner. We could find a use for him. 826 gold. No thanks. I will get 150 horses, though. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Well, actually. Yes, because I want to get a lumberjack and a carpenter 
for that settlement as well. So we will take all of you and we'll send you back to the new world. We've still got a ton of money. And we can always sell goods. 12% to 16%. You son of a bitch. Yeah, okay. Alright. That will happen when you uh, attempt to trade with him. Hello. And unfortunately, if you spend a lot of money to get some specialists, that's what's going to happen. Now you, you have a ton of iron ore. And we're not using it. Go there. Yeah, we need the we need the tools. So the converted native can do that for now. And we'll continue building up other things. Okay, that works. We could even train a couple of people to be master blacksmiths if we wanted to. You can found a settlement next turn. Adam Smith is off to join your cause. Will you welcome him as part of your continent of Congress? Plus 50% faster production textile, textile mills, coat factories, rum factories, and cigar factories. Where is he? Mm. No. Adam Smith could be good, but we don't need him right now. He's not providing any significant benefit to us. We're still going to lose tools here. Damn. We got a lumber mill? They do have a lumber mill. Double damn. Um. Alright, well. Pick up a few, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. Take. 20. And then deliver them over to Georgetown. Here, have 20 tools. And then we'll put you back onto um, cigars, tobacco, and rum. There we go. Go do your thing. Excellent. Now you're back. Sail over here. What would you like to name this settlement? Plim hmm. No. I don't like it. Plymouth is a bad name. I do not want it. Uh, what shall we call it? What shall we call it? Um, hmm. Good question. Good question, me. You'll call it... Eh, yeah, fine. We'll call it Plymouth. I can't think of anything better. It'll do. Uh, here we would like to grab ourselves a lumber mill. Yes. Yes, a lumber mill. You can go do some fishing for now. And um, once those other fellas get here... Yeah. Cool. So, we'll take tools from Jamestown and we'll drop them off to Kingsport and Plymouth so that they can create lumber mills. Hello. Uh, here's a gift of 24 sugar to help the colonists in New London. You've got a negative two for our way of life is threatening to yours. Why? We're not pushing on any of your borders, are we? Oh, maybe we are. Yeah, it'll probably be because of being right here. <clears throat> price of guns in England has fallen to 3, the price of cloth has fallen to 10. Cloth could be profitable, but we don't have any cotton nearby. I guess we could uh, set up a colony down here to try and grab some of it, but mm, that wouldn't be really useful. No, not really. Why are you taking so long to do that? Oh, because you're only generating one production. Well, that's alright. You are doing fine. Can you build the warehouse expansion? You can. 11 turns. And you've got the tools. Do it. That'll sell off excess uh, stuff. As it has been doing in Jamestown. So we won't lose things as often. We'll get a benefit from 
um, selling them at a very low price. But a low price is better than no price. Let's see, Jamestown. You have got a lot of goods. You need more iron ore. Actually, that's a thought. Hmm. I know. I know what we'll do. Three turns until you've done that. Okay, we're going to send one of the hardy pioneers back. I get the feeling that I actually purchased this all miner. And so, he's going to jump in there. Constructed a dock. Next, I would like to construct a lumber mill. And everything will be well. Requires 60 tools. 32 turns. Fair enough. You can jump into here and become an ore miner. There you go. Congratulations. So we're still going to lose a little bit of ore um, by the time everything gets set up, but we'll be losing a little bit less of it, so... That's a definite plus. Hello. Hmm. I'm going to wait a couple of turns to see if he moves those somewhere interesting. You. You, you, and you. Okay. You three. I'm going to head over to this city. Like so. And colonist man, you are going to change your profession to become a scout. Now that you've mounted up, you can ride to... Where were they? I thought there was one closer. Maybe not. Well, it's not too far anyway. You can ride to Lig Ligunaka. That place. Meanwhile, you can load up these. Load. Da, 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 da. Actually, how much are you worth? You are worth a lot, so let's leave the cheapest one behind. That would be you. Alright. Load up and get out. You need another turn to get there plus one more turn to actually load you up, and then we'll send you back, and then we'll make lots and lots of money. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Okay. And delete you. We don't need it. Continue on. Alexander Hamilton. Yes, please. Thank you. Now you... Get on board. Oh, that is going to be beautiful. That is going to be totally beautiful. Sail home. Hamilton has joined us. All was well with the world. You are going to build a lodge. I thought we'd build the farm already. I thought we'd built it. We have, haven't we? Yes, we have. Stop lying to me. Um, You get over there. And other one, you can, hmm, you can go back up here and build that or mine. Cool. Cool, cool. So once this college is finished being built, your mission is converted a native in Kubenakan. Yay, cool. Uh, you go over there. And you... Go back up there. Hi. Oh, right, native. Oh, good. Boat. You are going to go over here. I have a plan for you. I'm thinking... This place is generating plenty of food. So, we might use it... To generate some horses. Now you... Hopefully you have a cargo. Apparently not. But you have been sunk. And really, that's the important thing. I wonder where he was going without a cargo. 
How odd. How odd. Four turns until you're done. 552 gold. Yes, because we're going to be making a ton of money anyway. Cool, and now you can get one wagon train. Uh, you... Do I need another lodge? I don't think so. I think I'll build a second farm instead, on second thought. Okay, sell all of you. Ah, all that money, all that money. Paid him 586 off our 3,664 treasure. Totally worth it. Alright, we don't really need anything else right this second. Though I guess we could get a few more specialists and build up a few more things. Um, I guess we could get another privateer. Just to go harass somebody like the French or the Dutch. Mmm. No, we don't really need it. Not really. Did I ever... I thought I sent, um... Master Preacher Man. No, I never sent him. I thought I had. Oh, well you've just been continually creating Liberty Bells. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Go over there. You gentlemen, I need you to farm. Yes, be a farmer. I need you to lumberjack. Actually, I do need two of these, don't I? I need you to do that. Cool. And you can trap fur for now. Until we get somebody else up here to do it for you. Awesome. Awesome. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to build another road. I should do that. There, go there. I'm so on the ball today. You can tell. <laughs> Alright, you've constructed a wagon train here in Jamestown. What would you like to construct next? Next, I would love to get a university, thank you. You have ships waiting for you in Europe, I know. Yeah, there's not really anything we need to buy right this second, so you can come back and we'll transport the horses from here to... Um, Port Royal. You, meanwhile, are going to take some tools. We could probably split that down the middle. Yeah, we'll split that down the middle. Two turns for you, five turns for you. Excellent. Go over there and drop off some tools. I want to give you 75 tools. Congratulations, 18 turns for your lumber mill. And then, no, oh, come here. And then you'll go there. You. I think I'd just like you to come over and be. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd just like you to come over here and work on this, really. I've got enough food. Yeah, do that. Now you, you can sail over here and take up a post. You can just fortify for now. You can build me a mine. And so it was that everything was wonderful. Cool. So, next up. Fort in Georgetown is awaiting completion, is awaiting tools. Completion, really? How many? I guess I need more tools. Uh, you can jump in there. You're now stagnant. Well, that's unfortunate. We could probably build another farm over there. Get them another expert farmer or something like that. Uh, you need to build a road. And you need to jump in there. Done. Hello. I see you there, Spanish Caravel. I don't know exactly what you think you're doing, but uh, I can tell you that you're going to have a bad time. Yes, yes you are. 
Oh hey, we got a uh, we got a population growth pop. You can go become an expert farmer. Yes, that's a good plan. You need to go get me my horses. You've discovered ancient maps. Cool. So here we go. This is the uh, education system. You set somebody up in the educational facility, so the schoolhouse, the college, or the university, and after a while of learning, and I'll show you just here, this is your education. So you get education for having students, and then you get extra for having rebel sentiment. Our rebel sentiment isn't very high, so we don't get very much. But eventually, after a certain amount of turns, you get a graduate, and then you get to choose from the available uh, various sort of... Um, professions in your town and some of them are free and some of them cost a little bit some of them cost a ton so what do we want first what do we need really because Jamestown doesn't need any of these things but other places might well I suppose actually how long will it take for you to graduate another three turns so what I might do is I'll make this first guy an expert fisherman mm, no no We'll make him an expert fisherman. And then he can take over from this native. And this native can sit here for a second and then go here. If you were to become an ore miner. Hmm. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Become a learner person instead. So 11 turns for him, 4 turns for the indentured servant. Not bad. Not bad at all. John Winthrop has joined Louis de Frontenac. Uh, Winthrop gives you extra crosses, doesn't he? Brewster. Is that what he does? Yes, he, he gives you extra crosses per town hall. Kind of irrelevant, at least for us. John Jay, Patrick Henry, James Madison, and Thomas Paine. Those are the guys that we'd like, because they're just, they're just so good. Patrick Henry is arguably a little bit of a liability, because he provides uh, Liberty Bells per town hall, and you therefore can't not have them being produced. But by the time we've got enough political points to grab him, I think we'll be okay. We should be able to um, to make that impact negligible. So you can jump over there with the tools, and then you need to go back to Jamestown and collect a few more. But as you can see, we're now getting, from the production side of things, three from buildings, six from the carpenter, plus one from the settlement. So the three from buildings is the three from the town hall that... Alexander Hamilton gave us, and you can see that it is really speeding everything up, and it's godly. I love it. I love it a lot. You've constructed a warehouse expansion in Georgetown. What would you like to work on next? Well, next, I'd like you to go back to political points, I think. No. Uh, you're doing political points, you're doing political points. No, you can do uh, military points in that case work on instead military points cool cool so you're all done I will build a second farm over here I think we've got the uh, we've got the lumberjack working in a slightly different spot don't we yeah he's working in the lower one so we can build a farm on that other tile sweetness I need you to take these and sail yourself over to Port Royal Go forth. Oh, you're about to have population growth. Excellent. Hernando de Soto has offered to join your cause. Will you welcome him as part of your Continental Congress? No, because Grenadier is something that we probably won't want. You need to grab those. And then I will take them to Georgetown. And does anywhere else need tools? Do you need tools? No. No, but you could do it with a gunsmith. Hmm. Maybe. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Tricky. Alright, we'll continue on. You need to build me a farm. Some wood has been lost in New London due to lack of storage capacity. Not really all that much we can do about that. We're just going to have to continue on. You can dump those. All good. Yes, finish the fort. That is a really wonky shaped fort. I like it. Um, well, you don't really need to do all that much right this second. But I will have you go grab some iron ore from Ports, Point Silverton, Silverton when I learn how to speak English properly. Now you, you I want to be... Hmm. Elder Statesman, perhaps? Eyebrand Preacher? Veteran Soldier. Veteran Soldier! Alright. And now we can change his profession. He's a soldier outside settlement. And we will send him to... Port Royal. Because I don't believe they have any troops there. <laughs> 